Hey y'all, this is AL Thick Madame, and this is the recap review for Put a Ring on It. So, um, I planned on watching it the night that it dropped. When I got the notification that afternoon, that night, and you know, with a lot of these shows, they'll drop the first episode a week or a couple of days early, and this was no different. But the Tory Lane stuff happened, and I was just like, <laughs> like, cause I was trying to relax at first and then it caught me off guard because I knew it was coming on this month, but I I don't know why I didn't think that they would drop this early too. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this. So just in case y'all don't know what the premise of this, you know, type of shit was going to be, it's going to be revolving around three couples who come in and they see this woman who goes by Dr. Nicole. I hope I'm saying it right. Is it Dr. Nicole? Yeah. And I feel like I've seen her somewhere, but I haven't done any research to see if I really have seen her somewhere or if she just looks familiar. I think I have seen her somewhere before. Y'all let me know down in the comment section if y'all know who she is, where I possibly could have seen her before. But anyway, so they come and see her and ultimately at the end of this experiment situation, or whatever you want to call it, they will find out whether or not they really want to stay together because everybody's common issue is they have never been married. They are not married and they've been with one another long enough to where they should have already known that they're going to be together and get married and all this other stuff. And one or both of them are having doubts about taking that next step, which of course would be a big step. So y'all let's go ahead and get into this. So, the first couple is Hollywood and Ashley. All right, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and get this started. I'm going to have to go ahead and take me some water, sips, and... <sighs> if you haven't seen it, you'll understand. Go ahead and get me some water in right now. Because... Because mm -mm. that wasn't enough. Hollywood fine. His, it's the accent for me. I'm sorry. It's the accent for me. And <laughs> it's the accent for me. And you know, he's from Louisiana. Holy Lou. I live for a good old Louisiana accent. Most of them I, I really do live for. Now, I didn't realize that his girlfriend was from Louisiana too until later on in the episode. And I'll explain why. But anyway... Hollywood is everything. <laughs> I'm here for it. Hey, Hollywood. I know every now and again, um, some of the people from these shows come into my comment section. So just in case it ever happens, hey, Hollywood, how you doing? Hopefully everything will go the way it's supposed to go. But anyway, so Hollywood and Ashley are the, fir the first couple that we are introduced to. They are a beautiful couple. They are very much so into fitness, wellness, and all that good stuff. They seem really, really happy, but they are uh, going through a lot. First of all, they've been together for nine years. Uh, she's a paralegal. I don't remember what he is, but um, yeah. Um, he has proposed to this woman twice, and she has basically circled the drain as it, as it comes to that, and... I think that it was out of him having a fear of losing her as to why he did it. Because it's like one minute she's ready and when she's ready, he's not and vice versa. And I'm just like, Lord. But yeah, he, he ultimately did propose to her because he didn't want to lose her. And that is not a good feeling. That has happened to me before, but I get into that a little bit later. So anyway, um, he really, really wants it. And now she's not sure if that's something that she wants anymore, especially from him. And it's just to the point now where she does not want to be married to the wrong person. So the next couple is Mike and Shay. Shay spelled C-H-E. So anyway, it, it seems as though there is going to be a growing trend of how a lot of the Mikes are portrayed on the OWN network. Y'all saw on Ready to Love how all the Mikes were I wouldn't hear for, for virtually any, any of the mics that were on that show. I don't know what is going on, but I ain't here for this one right now either. I don't know if this is just what it's going to be. 
but I ain't here for it. So we, I'm just going to tell y'all. They've been dating for two years, but they've known each other for six. Um, their issues are they were together and she still had feelings for her ex. They ended up not being together anymore. And there was a three year window between the time when they had gotten together before the breakup. And then they got back together again. But during that time off, he had gotten engaged to somebody else. And when they were together, he didn't want to get engaged, but then he somehow pulled the trigger when he was with her. So now it's to the point where she looking like, um, what about me? Why is it that, you know, he ain't seeing that with me. And now he's looking like, I'm the, I don't really feel like I'm the marrying type. And I'm like, what? And she's really looking, she, she's looking like, bruh. But to me, this is me now. I don't know about y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. As far as when they first introduced them. In her confessional, to me, she look a little bit like Indy Ari. Y'all let me know if, if I'm seeing that around the eyes and all that or whatever. You know, brown skin. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing things. That's with my glasses on or off. To me, she look a little bit like Indy Ari in the uh, confessional. Y'all, and the last couple, they are Mimi and I guess Ulysses. The way he spell it is E-Y-U-L-E-S-S. She's 40 something. She look good. To me, she look good to be 40, 44 or 42 or however old she is. I think he might be a little younger, but she 40 something. She looks really, really good. He's a music producer, or a uh, music producer, and she is a um patient advocate. I don't know what that entails, but anyway, their issues are infidelities, holding on to things that have happened in the past, the communication insecurities and letting the past get in the way of what could possibly be their future. <sighs> I'm seeing red flags. Even before they went deeper into the episode, I was already seeing red flags before he even said anything about their issues. I was just like, oh, I don't know about this, but their situation might be the type where you see it, for what it is and what they're saying, but he might actually be able to make a change or they might be able to make a change and end up, you know, getting married in the end. But as of right now, it is yet to be seen. So anyway, he says that he wants to marry her. He's definitely right there, really want to marry her, but she is scared of it now. Okay, y'all, so Dr. Nicole is going to be throwing tasks at them this entire time. And the main task is going to be everybody dating other people. When they told him that this is what it was going to be, man, Hollywood said it all. Hollywood was like, no, nah. he was so vocal. I was just like, <laughs> somebody going to have to call security. I feel like they're going to have to call security or something because Hollywood is tired already. And ain't nobody even seen nobody yet. The first day didn't even happen yet. And he already done. He is tired of his spirit already. So, <laughs> and like I said, I, I'm already not here for Mike. I ain't here for it. I'm sorry. I just, I don't see it. I ain't here for it. Um. So anyway, everyone, as far as what Dr. Nicole has been able to ascertain by everything that has been told to her, that Everybody is fearful of the changes that could happen if they do get married or fearful of what could happen if they don't get married to that person. And I'm like, you have to take the plunge. You never know what is going to actually come out of a situation until you actually take that plunge. You can't sit up there and just be like, oh, I'm scared. If I get married, it's going to be like this. Or wait a minute, if I'm not married to this person, then what's going to happen? You know, how is it going to be without me? What? How is it going to be? Without that person, like, you cannot be like that. So anyway, y'all, they basically need to know and they feel like the grass is green on the other side. Okay, so, mini story time. I'm going to be brief. To make a long story short, I was engaged to the last person that I was in a relationship with. I was with this person a really long time and I left them. When I left them, they actually planned to propose to me the night that I left. I didn't know any of this and it just is what it is. It got to a point where I was done. This person was continuously cheating on me and doing me dirty. And 
I had grown very unhappy and it was nothing like it was in the beginning. And I was just like, this person promised that we would be married, we would be happy and all this other stuff. And, and, you know, in my mind, as far as I'm concerned, I was doing everything that I was supposed to do. I was doing everything within my power to prove to this person that I am with you, but they weren't giving me the attention that I deserved, that I needed that I yearned for and it, it was just so many different variables to the point where I was just like, it seems like I don't need to be a part of this anymore and I left them. I stupidly went back and we'll get into that. Somebody on this cast did the same thing and exactly what she said is exactly what I said. And I'm really hoping that that's not gonna end up being the same fate for her. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into what happened. So the dates are uh, um, are being chosen by Dr. Nicole. She was like, look, I'm going to give you a person that I'm picking by hand and it's going to be people who encompass what you want and what I think you need based off of the things she's already told them and, you know, things that they've already expressed that they desire in a mate. So... <sighs> Old boy Luke from Louisiana. Hollywood are here for it. Her date's name is Ryan and he's into fitness and all that other stuff too or whatever. And so he came to the house. He done came in the house. You know, everybody I think lives together or whatever. So he done came in the house. Hollywood is just, just done. I'm like, oh my gosh, this man can't even say, hello, how are you doing? Before Hollywood is setting it completely off. And I'm just like, oh, but I was laughing. But I was like, you are very passionate. Like, you could tell he was jealous and, you know, like, he really did not want this date to happen. And she was just like, you know, she seemed excited when they were, you know, everybody was together. And she told them that everybody was going to, you know, have these dates. And the women, this week was their week. The men go next week. So anyway, she seemed happy. And Hollywood was sitting over there looking at her like... Uh uh, ain't nobody got time. <laughs> oh, I feel for Hollywood. I'm here for it, y'all. Okay, y'all. So he kept going back and forth with the old dude, and Lord, it was a bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Something about ah, Lord. Okay, I'm sorry. Excuse me. So, um, Shay and Mike, they're at their place, and. She's basically trying to gauge him and see how he feels about her going on this date. She getting ready and he is really acting nonchalant and like he don't care and it is what it is. Like he had no emotion. He was like, you know, go do what you do. Do whatever you're going to do. I don't care. It is what it is. I know where I stand. I know what it is. You know, he really was like confident just knowing that, you know, you can go do whatever you do. And so... I'm just like, bruh, I'm gonna need for you to act like you care. Like, he has shown no emotion, and I ain't here for it. Like, this man can come in and swoop her and literally sweep her off her feet, whoever this dude is, and you just over here like, oh, well, I don't care. It is what it is. I don't think she's gonna go nowhere. He has no emotion. I don't know if this is just how he is, but I ain't never been here for that. I've, I have been with someone, like, my ex was kind of like that. It's like he would have them sometimes and other times he wouldn't. And I'm just like, you have to show that. You have to show that you care. You can't just sit up here and say it. If I can't tell by your actions, to me, it, that's not the truth. That's not what it is. So anyway, I was just like, girl, leave him at this point. I'm tired. <laughs> like, I'm tired of seeing y'all at this point because it is not appealing for you to not show that you care about the fate to me is you showing that you don't care about the fate of your relationship like come on now this could really mean the difference between y'all's happily ever after if there is one but at the same time earlier in the conversation he already made it plain like he don't really think that he need to be married and he don't really he ain't really here for it and he already was about to go down the aisle with somebody else and it's a business. Like, he was just one of the people. He, he talks about marriage as if it's nothing. If you care, I feel as though if you care about somebody enough that, especially if you're going to be with them and you making it seem like you're monogamous with them or whatever, 
You need, I feel like you need to get them papers on them. If something happened to you or happened to them, you ain't going to have no rights to them and you done been with them all this time. You ain't going to have no rights to nothing that's going on. Like, I, I don't understand why people think that that is just so amazing to just, like, let's just sit here and just, just be. And that's it. Like, no, nah, I ain't here for that. Most people know if they want to bury somebody pretty early on. So it don't take all day. My parents got engaged within, like, first six months of them being together like and I was born a year after they got married so literally a month I got a year and two days <laughs> so two days after their one year anniversary I was born my daddy knew he wanted my mom he wanted my mom when they was a cop when um when, uh, when they were in high school and things happened later on in life she had been in a you know situation and it's crazy how her situation was somewhat like my last situation. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know it was like that. But y'all, anyway, it's crazy. I ain't got time. I'm just not here for it. But anyway, y'all, let's get to Mimi and Ulysses or however he say his name. He ain't here for the date. But 30 minutes before her date was supposed to get there, like 30 minutes before the date was supposed to happen, she got a call from the doctor. And um, I think I neglected to mention that her father has been deathly ill to the point of where his health is really declining, like organs are failing and all this other stuff. And they have called her to see if she wants to put him on a DNR list and all that stuff. And it's a lot to take in for both of them because her father has been a father to him. So for them to have been together for six years or however long they've been together and this man, they are like best friends. It is taking a lot. Like he couldn't even be like, she was on the phone and put the phone on speakerphone. He walked out of the room cause he was so done with the situation. Like, I can't even listen to this. He went in a whole nother room while the conversation was going on. Keep in mind, her father has been very, very present and I don't remember if she mentioned her mama, but her daddy apparently did like everything for her and her siblings. He was doing hand, doing all that. My daddy did that too, but both of my parents were together. Whenever my mama was down and out because she had surgeries, my daddy was cooking like real meals and doing our hair for real, looking really nice and all of that. Like he was seamstress, cleaning, cooking, doing all of that. So anyway, so yeah, it was a very, very... Uh, emotional moment when that happened and I felt very very sad for her because I cannot imagine going through that with my father because as a lot of y'all know I'm a daddy's girl live for my daddy I don't even like to see my daddy even sick I don't even like to see him have a cold I, I can't so yeah he was just like you know it's up to you if you want to go on this date he comforted her it ended up being a good bonding moment for them, but it's really sad how a lot of people end up bonding and getting through things and overcoming things that have formed a wedge in whatever relationship they've had in the past with a person being really, really sick or passing away. That I've always found it to be so eerie how that happens for people. So anyway, Hollywood and Ashley. Like I told y'all before, Hollywood ain't here for it. He tied the spirit. And again, it's the accent for me. <laughs> oh my God. So when they do it on their date, they went on a bike ride and they talked and, you know, she had, that's why, you know, when they were actually riding to the location, wherever they were going to take the, the bike ride, she mentioned that she was from Louisiana. I was like, where? Because every time I hear her speak, I don't hear not one syllable I don't hear nothing that would just scream Louisiana, nothing in her speech at all. And I'm like, did you like were you did you go there at some point in time to live? Or were you born or raised there? Like, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I didn't hear it until later. And I'll get to that yet again. So anyway, they're talking and you know, they seemed like they had a decent date and she was here for it. Mimi, like I told y'all, since his, since her father's health was declining, she didn't go on the date. She chose not to go. And Shay, she ended up going on her date. And the guy's name is Andre, if I'm not mistaken. 
and they were talking and their situations were in the reverse. He is not, you know, with anyone presently because the last person who he was with, he wanted to be with them and marry them, but they didn't. And so she was like, wow, it's the complete opposite of my situation. And she started going over how he, you know, proposed to somebody else and all this other stuff. And he started dropping knowledge on her. I was like, girl, <laughs> this man that came to this date and then helped open your eyes a little bit. I hope you're paying attention. I hope you're taking notes. Because he straight up told her, maybe he's not willing to commit to you. You know, maybe it's something about you that he's not willing to commit or whatever. Y'all, it was something to that extent. But yeah, it was just everything he was saying. She was just like, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. But he brought her flowers. She was like, I've never had, I've never had flowers before. This is the first day too. Like she was so excited. I was like, yes, girl, be excited because Mike is not it. <laughs> just saying. I, I, I ain't here for it at all. Um. So yeah, Hollywood wanted to know all about the date. And ultimately she was like, oh, it was refreshing. And he was like, oh, okay, but keep on being refreshed. And so she was like, with the attitude that you're giving me, I really hope that you hate your date. Like, you really out here doing a whole lot. You out here. You really out here doing a lot, sir. But anyway, the only time I knew that this woman really was from Louisiana is when she said, okay. She said, okay. The way she said, okay, in that moment, I heard all of the Louisiana come out of her in the okay. I don't know how in the world. Because I was like, girl, you ain't from no Louisiana. I really did not think she was from nowhere in the South at all when this episode started up until that moment. And when she told that man she was from Louisiana, I was like, where? What part of this? What, what part? Where? But anyway, <laughs> she said okay. And I was like, oh, Lord. It, it's, it's the floor de lis for me. It's, it's, it's the floor, floor de lis. It's the Florida list. And I'm probably saying it wrong, but y'all y'all know what it is. Y'all who, who are from Louisiana and, and and live for that, I live for it. But yeah, I, I, I wish I could speak Creole and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's, it's the Florida least for me. Um, So yeah, they ended up, Hollywood was upset at this point. He just kept saying that. I was like, oh my gosh, this is not going to work. Hollywood is going to tear this whole set up. Somebody please get him. So anyway... Y'all, they ended up reconvening. And again, they started with Ashley and Hollywood. Hollywood set it off yet again. He ain't here for it. They ended up going to uh, Mimi. And she was like, well, I didn't go on my date. And so they ended up having a whole moment discussing what happened and how, you know, an anchor. The father, of course, was an anchor. And you need the support from him. And instead of turning away from one another, you need to turn towards one another in this moment. They had a good moment. Then they got to Shay. Shay was like, you know, my day was good. And, you know, it, it was it was nice. It was good. And she actually said what happened. And again, Mike had no emotion. And he is very confident that their relationship is going to withstand whatever. He ain't, he don't really care about nothing going on. I'm just like, girl, what you see in him? I'm tired. I'm exhausted, and this is just the first episode. I'm so tired of Mike. I don't know what it is. What's going on? So anyway, Dr. Nicole asked each of the ladies, would they go on a second date with these guys? Shay said no, because Andre is too short for her. Now, when she stood up and greeted him, I was like, either she has on heels, or it's a combination of her having on heels and being super tall, because she was tower, towering over him a little bit. So I could see that. I, I ain't here for it. I dated somebody one time who was a little bit shorter than me, y'all. I cannot. And I mean, I had on like a really short um, wedge heel and I was still tall than him. I cannot. I, I, he was fine. He was fine and all of that. He was an ex-Marine, all that. I, I, He was too short. Jesus, no. I can't, I can't do that. I can't do it. I'm already short by three, y'all. I am five foot three. He and I basically were like the same height, but at that time I really was into like wearing wedges. And even with my lowest wedges, he it was just no. That's not why we weren't together anymore, because I definitely loved and cared about this person, but I I can't do that no more. Mm -mm. So anyway, that was her reason. 
for, for why she didn't want a second date with him. And Ashley said no to a second date with Ryan for obvious reasons because of Hollywood. And I'm like, girl, she even said in her confessional, she might be doing her own self a disservice by, you know, turning that down. But she's willing to do all this for the, and I'm like, girl, you're here for that purpose. And even Hollywood set it off and was like, man, we are here for that. You need to, you know, go out and do whatever you're going to do because we need to know if when all of this is over with, are we going to be together or not? What is going on? And I was like, I'm going to need for you to read a little bit louder. Say it for the ones in the back because I'm tired. And even Shay was reading. She she read Mike and was like, well, basically she read him. But she was like, I was hoping for the same enthusiasm and reaction that Hollywood gave to get that, you know, I wanted that same reaction from my man. Girl, I was like, girl. <laughs> no. And I mean, I guess with some people, even if they don't really show emotion like that, you are, are expecting to get a reaction if they really love and care about you, especially when a, another man is there. His mind, he was like, I'm, my, my position is secure. And I'm just like, bruh, need for you to know that ain't always it. <laughs> so anyway. Like I said earlier, next week, the men are going to be going out on dates and tell me why. Mike had all of the enthusiasm and emotions in the world when that was announced. I was like, why are you so happy all of a sudden? Where was all this enthusiasm and all these emotions when Shay wanted emotions from you? Where? Y'all, I'm so tired already of him. But anyway, y'all, hopefully y'all enjoy it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this recap review. I might be back later on for the new episode of Y'all Know What It Is. It's coming on tonight. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what the show is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I just lost it that quick. But anyway, <laughs> I'll put it uh on the screen because I said it earlier. Uh ready to love. I was like, what is what is the show? But yeah. Anyway, I hope y'all have a good one and I might be back later on. So y'all ho hopefully y'all going ahead and have a good one and enjoy yourselves. Be safe out there. I'll see y'all later on. Bye.